Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new month. We've got a new comic block in our hands to show off exactly what's inside. Now, comic block's one of the numerous geek boxes out there. Uh, this one obviously matches the name and has to do with comic books. Uh, it comes from NerdBlock, so they've got a whole bunch of different boxes out there depending on what your taste is. There's one for horror fans. They've kind of got their classic one, which changes their the uh, actual theme every single month. Uh, there's one for gamers, and I think they've actually launched one for shirts as well with their partner Shirt Punch. Probably about eight months ago or so, they uh, upped the, com the comic box block in comic box uh, to include a whole bunch more items. Before it used to be about thirteen dollars, and you got a whole bunch of exclusives, and it was actually a fantastic deal. About twenty dollars total of shipping. So now it's more in price in line with their normal boxes. So you're looking at roughly about thirty dollars worth shipping, uh, and generally it's been very hit and miss as far as content. So we're going to crack this open, show off what is inside, and see how this month shapes up. Uh, let's grab these two little things to help us out here. And the first is Marvel 3-pack shoelaces. Yeah, so uh, look for a subtle way to show off your nerdiness and love for the Avengers. Now you can lace up and fresh with these exclusive shoelaces, including three pairs to suit your mood, your favorite characters, and your look. We've got you. So it looks like we've got Captain America, kind of a, a mix of a whole bunch of characters. Well, three different styles, basically. There's two that are kind of a mix of a whole bunch of characters. Uh, one's in black and white, one's color, and then it looks like Captain America in black and white as well. Uh, you know, an exclusive is kind of neat, but overall, I'm going to give it a kind of a meh. Uh, let's see if we can get it so you can actually see what is inside. There you go. So you can see the designs. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not huge on putting different shoelaces uh, on, and it's not that big of a deal for me. So uh, overall, interesting item. It's at least unique in something new. So I'll give them points for creativity. All right, we do have a whole bunch of of comics, which is excellent. All right, up first, we've got from Valiant, Britannia from Peter Milligan and uh, Juan Jose Rip and Jordi Belair. Uh, this is part of the future of Valiant. They've been hyping it for quite a while. It's basically, uh, think of an occult detective back in Roman times. Really great debut uh, comic that I highly recommend. I believe the first issue sold out and has gone to a second and maybe a third printing at this point. Uh, so the fact that you're getting a copy is pretty cool. Uh, the story itself is actually is really, really solid. So uh, overall, like it's a very good in uh, inclusion in there. You know, Valiant is a company I love to support, so I'm very happy about that. All right, we've got DC's Young Animal, first release, Doom Patrol, number one. This is from Gerard Way, uh, is the writer, bringing back the classic... Uh, characters, reimagining of the Ultimate Series of Strange Doom Patrol. Um, yeah, so I read the, the first issue. I thought it was okay. It's not something that completely blew me away. Uh, overall, DC's Young Animals is an interesting uh, new experiment and kind of cool in that strangeness sort of way. This is fascinating because... Let me see if this is first printing or second printing. Hold on. This is actually a bad thing, potentially. Um, and the reason... Alright, so this might be a first printing. But what's odd is, so on the copy that I got, the version I've got, uh, there's a sticker that goes over ne uh, on top of this, and then you, you pull it back and you reveal stuff underneath. There's no sticker here. This is just straight up on the cover. So I think that's a little odd and takes away some of the quirkiness of the series and the first issue. Um, yeah, it's a kind of a strange one as to why they would do, do that, but whatever. Um, all right. Up next, we've got Supergirl number one. Uh, this is D from DC's Rebirth. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve Orlando's writing it. It's a great return of Supergirl, uh, Cara Danvers, kind of back to her teenage self. 
Uh, more in line with the television show. Really fun. If you enjoy the television show, you're going to enjoy uh, this comic, I think. It's you know one of the more entertaining ones from DC Rebirth. Uh, we've gotten a good review of that. I don't believe the second issue is out, so you know you can catch up with this one. But overall, nice inclusion. Uh, it's a nice choice from DC. They could have gone with a hell of a lot of different books, but uh, they went with that one, so that's nice. All right, Vikings number one, based off of the television shows from Titan Comics. I will be honest, I have not read this one, so this is a variant nerd block cover. Variants are always a good thing, obviously, from Kevin Scott and Daniel Indro, it says right up there. Uh, so Vikings is a television show I don't watch, so I don't know anything about it. I haven't read the comic, can't really give much of an opinion, but clearly if you're a Vikings fan, you'll probably dig the comic. Uh, so let's see here, that's, uh, we're looking at, you know, four comics, one of which is an exclusive. Alright, what else we've got here? Part of their thing is including $10 cards to shirt punch, which I think is really weird to kind of consider that part of your um, your box as a bonus item. But, you know, it's $10, and shirt punch t-shirts are usually 10 bucks, so, you know, there's that. Uh, we've got a book, The World According to Wolverine from Matthew Manning. Haven't read this, couldn't tell you anything about it. It's from Inside Editions. Just done a few books in the various nerd block boxes. Uh, the book retails for 25 bucks, so you know you're definitely getting your money's worth when you add in the comics and the book and all that. Uh, so it's stoic, headstrong, always spoiling for a fight. Wolverine is not known for opening his heart to others. In the world of the coordinated Wolverine, however, the virtually indestructible mutant shares his thoughts on the superhero life for the very first time, offering hard to learn, hard learned advice uh, to those who would follow in his footsteps, covering topics such as harnessing mutant powers, taming your animal's instincts and going toe-to-toe um, -to -toe with Cosmic Bad Guys. This book is essential reading for anybody who wants to enjoy a long career in the most dangerous profession there is. Um, overall, interesting. Can't say I've ever seen this, so I really have don't have much opinion of this. Looks like it's some of the other books that Insight Editions does. There's like pop-up stuff, um, somewhat interactive. Definitely uses a lot of different art from uh, the various decades that Wolverine's been around. So if you're a hardcore Wolverine fan, you'll probably dig this. So that's kind of cool. And then finally, we've got a t-shirt featuring Luke Cage. With the show out on Netflix. Not too shocked that this was included. Actually kind of surprised there wasn't more included. So this is from Shirt Punch, an exclusive t-shirt. It says Cage and it's got the man in his pose. Um... As usual, it says nerdblock.com on the bottom, which I hate from these t-shirts. It's from Marvel. I hate the fact that Nerdblock brands it with their uh, URL on the bottom. This isn't something I want for my t-shirts, and that's not what I pay for. So, yeah. Otherwise, nice t-shirt. Not necessarily something I would probably wear, but I, you know, I can see folks digging it. So that one's kind of a, not bad overall. So when it comes to the box... This is a decent one. You know, you get a lot of comics. There's some wearable stuff that's uh, not too bad. I will give it uh, some credit in that I definitely feel like I got like 25 bucks worth. Uh, so it has that going for it, which is pretty good. Uh, next month, we've got from Nerd, or from Cotton Block, includes three exclusive comic variants. There is something from Doctor Strange that is going to be in it. Uh, if you want to sign up, you can at the link below. It is an affiliate link, so we do get a small percentage of that. But by doing that, you help uh, support our site, which is much appreciated. Until next time, thank you for watching. This is Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. You can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep it geeky.